A serious and terribly unfortunate feeling of deja vu in Israel. The health ministry returning to its daily coronavirus infection alerts, reporting the highest number of cases in nearly two months. For the first time since April 23, Israel recording over 100 daily coronavirus infections in under 24 hours. 125 new cases to be exact, bringing the total number of active cases in the country to roughly 400 and the infection rate to 0.3 percent. Over 50 patients, meanwhile, are hospitalized, 25 of whom are in serious condition. The Benyamina area in central Israel, meanwhile, declared a yellow zone with respect to the health ministry's traffic light system and many private businesses, schools and workspaces across the country responding to the new outbreaks by taking initiative and reinstating mask mandates of their own. This just days after the national mandate was lifted. The recent infections following a perfect storm of criteria, though. Several schools now reporting outbreaks often traced back to individuals who were infected while abroad. Several vaccinated individuals counted among the new cases. Additionally, Israel's landmark vaccination campaign essentially plateaued several months ago at just over 5 million citizens fully immunized. That's roughly 55 percent of the total population. So the health ministry again pushing for adolescents aged 12 to 15 to go and get their shots as soon as possible. Likewise, government officials across multiple ministries calling to reinstall nationwide restrictions and other security measures, including Defense Minister Gantz ordering the IDF and Home Front Command to keep the contact tracing department open for a bit longer and to resume COVID testing efforts. Testing centers across the country ordered to reopen on Monday. And finally, new Health Minister Nitzan Horowitz from the Meretz Party announcing new fines for Israelis who travel abroad to barred countries.